hi guys welcome back into my channel today i'm going to give you a tour of what i'm growing here in this area of my property i have my property divided into three areas and this is the middle area where i take care and uh, i plant a lot of fruit trees and a lot of vegetables so let's start the video So to start with, I have a lot of trees just for beautiful, you know, they're not fruit trees or flower trees or other trees. But on today's video, I'm only going to be focusing on fruit trees and vegetable trees. Maybe I can focus on all those trees later on. So to start with, I have here my guava tree. And this guava tree, I bought it and it's a crafted tree. It's doing very good. It's, it has grown very big. I make sure that I uh, mulch around it. I put hay all around it and goat waste. And as you can see, it's coming with brand new shoots and it's gonna do very well this year. I'm expecting to, to get fruit from it and harvest some fruit. I absolutely love wabas. I grew up eating them. Right over here, I have my pomegranate. And this is a small pomegranate. I think the, the kind is uh, a wonderful pomegranate. That's the name of it, I believe. Moving along to the next fruit tree is going to be this sour soap in Spanish is one habana that my aunt planted from sea and she gifted to me and it's doing amazing. As you can see, it's coming this year with brand new shoots and it's getting big. And again, I make sure I put hay around it, dead coconuts, uh, goat waste, everything you can imagine. The next tree is going to be Shirimoya, which I am not sure how you pronounce it in English, but it's, it's a very South American tree, very exotic. And the Shirimoya is absolutely delicious. If you have never had it, I think the name is Sugar Apple. I think that's what you guys call it, Sugar Apple. And it's so delicious. You should definitely check it out. This right here is South Florida. This is Naples area. And we love the hot weather. Make sure you mulch, make sure you put hay whatever you want, chicken waste. It's doing very, very good. Up next, we have another sour soap, Guanabana in Spanish. And it looked like it's doing bad, but it's actually just starting to have new, new leaf for the season. I'm not expecting any fruit this year, but I may get a fruit this year but i'm like i'm saying i'm not expecting any fruit this right here is called anon and it looks dead but it's actually just about to have new leaves for the season all along this area i have fruit trees that i'm growing from sea so i will be showing you those later on in another video over here i have my fig this is one of my three fig trees that I have in the property. I already have figs in it and uh, they're very delicious. If you have never had fig, it's kind of like a guava, but I would say I like it a lot better than a guava. And it's doing very good. Up next, I have the Valencia orange. I absolutely love oranges. And this tree smells amazing. Because it's blooming, it's having baby, baby oranges right over here. It's absolutely beautiful. Right over here by my pool, I have two Meyer lemons trees and they produce a lot of lemons. I have another video about Meyer lemons, so make sure you check that video out. It's all about how to grow Meyer lemons in containers. 
talking about Maya lemons, I have another Maya lemon right here in a bush type. And it's producing lemon this year as well. Uh, it's doing very good. It really like this spot that I planted over here. Right over here, I have a Haboticaba tree. And Haboticaba trees are very exotic. They come from Brazil. And it's a grape, kind of like a grape that grows in the trunk of the tree. So this tree is gonna be completely filled with grapes. I'm expecting to get fruit here in about two, three, four years. Right here I have some onions, some baby oranges. They smell amazing. I absolutely love it. The smell of this is fantastic. Some blueberry trees. This is an orange tree that I grew up from. Uh, I grew up from sea. Some papaya trees. Barbados cherries. Barbados cherries are delicious. Hi, Jasmine. Some more papaya trees, papaya, anon trees. Here are my banana trees. I have about six of these trees. They're all different kinds of bananas. And I'm very excited for my first harvest. It's gonna be later on this year. Right over here, I have a mulberry. This kind is the purple kind. I have a bigger one that is the white kind. This is one of my mango trees and it's flowering this year. I have another mango tree right over here. Absolutely packed with flowers and baby mangoes coming. Very exciting. I think I'm gonna be able to harvest them uh, later, later May or June. Last year it gave me about 50, so I'm hoping this year it gives me more. Right next to the mango tree, I have my avocado tree. And my father-in-law gave me this tree and it's growing very beautifully and very big. Very excited about this tree. Right over here, I have my tree tea. Uh, and this is the, the tea tree. It's specific to make tea. And I haven't even cut this out yet. It's one of the newest tree I added. Right over here is another Valencia orange tree. And this year starting to bloom for the first time. Very exciting. Hopefully we get a lot of oranges and we don't have to buy orange juice anymore. Since now we have two trees. Blueberries. This is the mulberry tree, my white kind and it's coming with new shoots this year right over here is a mango tree from sea this area is filled with blueberries figs right here two more fig trees lime pineapple sour salt from sea i planted it one year ago and it's doing very good uh, sour salt are very easy to grow from sea Right over here, I have a, a new butterfly uh, coming from his cocoon. And uh, butterflies are very important in a vegetable garden, in a fruit garden, in any garden. So I make sure I protect them. This is one of my oldest guava tree. And this year is going to produce guavas for the first year. I hope so. <laughs> and it's coming with new beautiful leaves. Right here, I have some onions purple basil this is more unknown which i think is the sugar apple um, i'm not sure but i grow them from sea this is my beautiful mamey tree i'm very excited for it it's a grafted tree i have some rosemary bushes here some malanga over there more banana trees this is ciruela cuban cuban plum it's absolutely fantastic. This is some of my salad tomatoes, vine tomatoes, and this tree produces so much tomatoes. So, so, so many. Right over here, I have more tomatoes, tomatoes. And moving to this area, I have 
planted carrot from seeds all around this area right here papaya tree peppers and more papaya trees papaya trees another banana tree that i have here some squash over there and this is my vegetable garden and my vegetable garden is doing very good uh, this used to be the chicken coop if you go back to my first video you can see that i used to have my chickens and my pigeons here and when i took them out of here all the way from the chicken make this soil very fertile and all the leaves that fall from this tree decomposes here so it's a very good area to plant vegetables that love shade or that are partial shade i mean a lot of sun come from this area over here so it's not completely shady it's partial shade and right over here i have eggplant arugula um, white cabbage red cabbage i have watermelon growing from seed arugula spinach corn here's a baby corn coming right along here some blackberries this is a carrot field that i planted from sea tomatoes peppers this right here is my one of my three grape vine and grapes are gonna take over all this area so it's gonna be really beautiful this is one of my bell pepper trees this bell pepper is almost ready to harvest look at how big it is very big right in this area i planted this mexican cream guava so this would be my number three guava tree they're all different kinds and she's doing very good i only planted it about two months ago and i picked this spot because this spot is very moist thank you guys for watching this video this is the part one of my series for showing you my three divided areas of my property this is the middle area in next video i'm going to show you the last area which is the area where i keep all the chickens and the goats and the dogs and more fruit trees that i have inside the chicken coop thank you guys for watching i hope you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe thank you